guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm very excited because we are going to try the charlotte tilbury flawless filter i've never got my hands on this even though i wanted to so badly um we don't have sephora in norway we are able to order from sephora sweden i think um but i've never done it before and now when my boyfriend was on vacation, he was able to catch this. When I was in Paris, I wasn't able to get my hands on it because it was sold out. So I'm just super, super excited to try it out. So I thought for today's look, it is finally getting like spring in Norway. It's above zero degrees. Um, the sun is out. So the goal for the makeup look is natural and like the base is going to look like skin but it's also like unbelievable that it's skin because it looks so good, you know? That's kind of what I want. And then I want maybe some glitter on the eyes, just like the very, very glossy, sparkly, natural soft glam makeup. So it's actually seven o'clock and the sun is about to go down. So if there is any changes in the lighting, that's why, because I'm just using natural light. And I just had an everything shower, washed my hair, I like a proper skincare routine. So I just really felt like it was the perfect time to try to find my perfect summer look. So I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty Primer. This is the illuminating one. And I just feel like this is a perfect base. For the summer makeup it gives such a glowy skin like you can tell it just wow it looks like glass skin okay so now we're going to test the flawless filter i honestly i'm so excited for this and i'm going to cry if i don't like it because it was this is the product i got it in the shade 2.5 fair so i hope that's a good match okay i think this will fit me perfectly for like both winter and summer. It's very yellow, but I think that will be okay. I have no idea how much to take. I'm going to take a little bit underneath my hair as well, because maybe it's a little bit too dark. I don't have any self tone around right now. No, I think that's fine. I'm just going to use a foundation brush to blend it out. But wow, this lays on the skin like... You can't even tell that I'm wearing anything on my skin. I'm actually super impressed. I definitely thought it would have a little bit more coverage than I'm getting. But I don't know if it's buildable or... If it's not meant to cover at all. But it lays on the skin beautifully. It looks like... It honestly just doesn't look like anything. It just looks like you have a more even skin tone. And that you just have this natural glow. This is definitely going to be used every single day in the summer. Then I also got a refill of my Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer and I used this in the shade 4. I've used a lot of concealers. I like most concealers, but this one has by far been the absolute best just because it really lays nicely on my skin. And then I can like drag that onto my redness. I do have very red cheeks. So you can like drag that a little bit down to cover that. I'm actually very happy right now. I do feel like it was the right time to test this base. I really like it. Now I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Powder. I'm going to powder underneath my eyes. If you would like a very, very natural base, I think this is just perfect. So 
now I'm going in with the Rare Beauty Blush. I want to stick to creams for a little bit to make it as dewy as possible. I really like the sun kissed look on my nose and on my chin and then on my forehead as well, just a little bit. So I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer and I'm using this one from Kaya, which is in the shade Venice. And this is a loose powder bronzer. Just taking it on a fluffy brush and just bronzing up a little bit. Okay, so I think that is it for the base makeup. And now we're going over to the eye makeup. I want it to be very clean, but like shiny. So I'm going in with the Kylie Cosmetics palette. And I think I'm going to use the shade Peaches and take notes. They are a little bit <laughs> milder shades. That I feel fit perfectly for the summertime. I'm going to use the pop off color from the Kylie palette. This is like a champagne gold. I'm gonna take on my finger and just tap on. It's a very pretty shimmer. But then you guys, to get like the sparkle, I'm going to use the Frozen 2 palette from ColourPop. And I'm going to go in with this flaky glitter. And I'm just going to tap it on. I think it's very subtle. It's just beautiful. Very easy and elegant without being too much. I want to use this eyeshadow, the pop-off eyeshadow for a little highlight. Just a little bit here. Also, a little bit on the tip of the nose. Nose bridge and over here. Obviously important to curl the lashes. You always have to do that. I'm going to use the Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. Just to make a little bit. We don't need too much. So for the last bit, we're going to do our lips. I bought these two shades from Charlotte Tilbury, Icon Baby and Iconic Nude. And I think we're going to try Iconic Nude. This is the shade. That is the perfect lip color for me. Honestly, it matches so well. You can't even tell that I have lip liner on. And then we are going over with this gloss from L'Oreal. And this, you guys, is probably going to be my go-to everyday spring and summer look. I just love the sparkles the natural look, but it's also just like stunning. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so that was my very quick and easy go-to spring and summer look. I really, really like the Flawless Filter Foundation. Obviously, I've just tried it on now, but I'm definitely going to wear it for a few days. And if you see me continuing using it in my YouTube videos, you'll know that I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though the lighting is a little bit of everywhere, but that's fine. Um, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.